Hi guys, welcome back to our last video of the week. This is the last session because tomorrow, instead of a training, we are going to have a volleyball themed quiz. If you haven't entered yet, don't worry, I'm setting up the class tomorrow and show my homework. So make sure that you try to register yourself as soon as possible so you can still enter it. So if you're ready for our workout and for the hint of the day, let's get started. Water bottle ready, greenhouse stuff ready, and let's go. Let's start with 30 heel flicks, 15 jump squats, 20 star jumps, and 10 burpees. And when you're ready with your warm up, I'm going to pass you over to Lulama who can help you with your strengthening. So we're gonna start with some side plank. We already did it uh, last week, the same. So I'm sure you remember how to do it, but let's recap. So go in the outside of your right or left foot and over your right or, or left elbow. Try to keep a straight line, nose, belly, bottom, toes. New thing, advance. So you just need to lift up your left leg for five times or your right leg for five times as well. Repeat the same on the other side. Next exercise is going to be a shoulder external rotation. Sit on a chair with a table or a sofa if you're sitting on the floor beside you and rest your elbow and your forearm on the table. And while you're pushing down your elbow, lift up your hand towards your back as far as you can. Do it slowly for 15 reps each side. As you can see from this perspective, my elbow is in the same line as my shoulder. It needs to stay like this till the end of the exercise. Third exercise, side squat. So from a low open squat, so it's like a sumo squat position, move your hip to the right, and back to the center and then the opposite way so to the left always always check that your knee is never behind your toe and never beside your toe as well in this case do it 10 times each side so here we go with your last exercise so we're gonna do some calf Facing a wall, stand on a step or a box or books, like in this case. So with half foot out and half foot on it. So then pull your heel up as much as you can, slowly, not fast, and slowly go down. This for 20 reps each foot. Your workout is complete. Very well done, ladies. See you soon. Bye. And for today's jump training, you will need two stairs. But if you don't have any stairs at home, don't you worry. You can just repeat yesterday's jump training instead. And we're going to start with two feet jumps up to one stair. Let's do two times 30 of this. And we're going to be moving on straight away to two stair jumps. Try to take off and land as quick as you can. And to finish up, we're going to do some step ups. Try to do it as quick as possible and make sure you start with a different foot each time. And now that you're done with your strengthening and you're ready to jump as high as the eagles fly, let's move on to our volleyball. Today we're going to practice our volleys and our setting a little bit. So, volleyball ready. Okay. Find the wall space, have a little control volley to yourself and another one to the wall. Let's do 20 of these. 
and then we're moving on to single wall wallies try to remember the technique triangle to square straight elbows and as quick touch as you can after that put out a target for yourself kneel down feed your volleyball to the wall and then try to volley it into your target and once you're done with your 20, just stand up and try to do the same thing from standing. And then we're going to be moving on to setting. So feed your ball between you and your target, run in front of your target, face it and try to volley into it. What is going to be very, very, very important here that your shoulders, your hips, your knees and your toes are all pointing towards your target. You can even have your right feet slightly in front and that's going to be very important when you have a net next to you so you don't actually end up in the net. And here is your hint for today. Make sure you look up the current volleyball rules. And once you're done with your reps, let's move on to yesterday's hitting footwork, what Lulama taught us. We're still going to use that one, two, three claps, and we are going to transition into it. So act out a dig, move sideways, one, two, three. If you're right-handed, use left, right, left. If you're right-handed, use right, left, right. Keep repeating this until you feel comfortable. And for the opposite hitters who are hitting from the right side of the net, move the ball to your other side, to your right side, act out a dig, sideways, and one, two, three. Make sure that you still use the same footwork so it doesn't matter which side you're hitting from, you're still gonna need to use the same left, right, left, or right, left, right. That's depending on which hand you're hitting with not which way you're hitting from. Thank you everyone for working out with us today. I'm really looking forward to our quiz tomorrow and to start our sessions next week again. Bye.